Who doesn't love mashed potatoes? We all do. But for those of us with kidney disease, potatoes have too much potassium. There's a solution, and that is pureed cauliflower. So let's heat up the oven to 375 degrees and get started. We are going to roast some garlic to infuse this dish with a lot of flavor. To do that, you take a head of garlic and cut off the top. Place both pieces in some foil, drizzle with olive oil, and place it into the oven for 45 minutes. While your garlic is roasting and it's going to start smelling really good in your kitchen, it's time to steam the cauliflower. Cut up your cauliflower florets. It should yield about four cups. And then steam the cauliflower in a steaming basket inside of a pot for about 10 minutes until it's done. When your roasted garlic is done and also cool to the touch, it's time to remove the garlic from the bulb, either using your fingers or by smashing it out with the flat side of a knife. Then using that same pot, heat one tablespoon of olive oil. Add in your garlic as well as your steamed cauliflower. Stir and let it cook for five minutes. Then add in one to two teaspoons of horseradish, depending on how spicy you want it. Stir again, cook for five minutes, and take it off of the heat. To make your cauliflower mashed potatoes, you can either use a potato masher to make it chunky or an immersion blender or blender to make it smooth and creamy. Add in a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, as well as three tablespoons of freshly chopped chives. Stir and mix and serve it immediately, or if your guests are coming over later, place it in the refrigerator and reheat right before dinner. And for all of the recipes and all of the nutritional analysis, visit The Kidney Kitchen at www.kidney.org. And for more recipes, visit me at sodiumgirl.com.